Hey guys, Token Vaping, employed with Pacific Vapes. Today's flavor review, um, wow. Like, I don't normally try to um, get overly uh, excited or, you know, um, I try to keep everything just on a straight, mellow uh, level, um, just to keep everything I guess you could say kind of just more fair and, and honest, but if I'm going to be honest, which I try to be in each and every video that I do, um, wow, I have been blown away by a line that I came across in a post and I thought the labels were interesting. Um, the theme I thought was really catching. Um, I reached out to this company and they were most gracious to respond back and I did a little uh, back and forth with them as far as just, you know, um, inquiring about their line and uh, they were asking me a few questions about myself as well. Um, they were gracious enough to let me try uh, their line in uh, sample bottles and I unfortunately, I have blown through this line um, in trying. Now, I did save... Um, I did save enough so that my boss can try these because um, I really, really want to try to uh, get this out here. Um, without further ado, the name of the company is called The Dreamery. Um, now, they did have a previous line of a couple of flavors. I don't know a whole lot about that. Um, the line that I was uh, um, attracted to that caught my eye is based on some of the best philosophers of history. Um, each one, there's six of them total. They sent me this really cool menu. Um, they use uh, actual like bust picture pictures of their busts, um, and they're put on the labels. The cool thing about it is, for each uh, philosopher, thinker, however you want to label it, um, they put a a quote of theirs on the bottle, and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, the six uh, that they have on here is Hypatia, Confucius, Aristotle, Thais, Thales, Socrates, and Plato. Um, it's just a really cool theme. It's different. It's it, it's just something that you know kind of makes them stand out a little bit. Um, their website right now um, is under construction. I did try to go to it to pull up uh, some more information about them. Uh, that I, if I was able to. Unfortunately, it is under maintenance. However, they do have a link in their bio on their Instagram page uh, that takes you straight over to a site called shipanddrip.com is one of the websites that uh, you can purchase their juice through. Um, they offer five nicotine levels. It's a zero, a 1.5, a three, a six, and a 12. On the website, you can purchase two different sizes, a 30 mil for $15.99, and a 150 mil for 54.99. Now, if you vape a lot and you like juice, it's definitely going to be worth the investment. 54.99 for a 150 mil bottle is not an insane price. Um, but in comparison, there are some companies that sell a 120 mil bottle for about that price. So you're basically getting an extra 30 mil bottle thrown in there for about the same uh, dollar amount. It is a Max VG line. Holy cow! I will show you that vape here, and, and I apologize. I'm not trying to get overly excited. Um, but for Cloud Chasers, this is a line that you are definitely going to be impressed and happy with if you are into the clouds and a Max VG line. I enjoy a higher VG, so this was this was definitely a treat for me. Um, but there is no shortage of flavor. So let me show you their bottles. And these all do come uh, plastic sealed. Um, they are safety sealed. They have the child safety cap. They have the name of the company here, the name of the flavor, or philosopher. Um, it says Max VG on the bottom. There's the picture of their bust. It does have a quote. Like I said, all of the bottles have a specific quote from uh, the person themselves. For Plato, it says, be kind. For everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. You know, it's they're, they're pretty cool quotes, and, and they do apply to everyday life. Um, there is the nicotine level. It does have a warning and keep out of reach. They are on Facebook and Instagram. And then they have the ingredients and uh, where it was made. It also tells you there's no artificial colors or sweeteners. So they're trying to make this as clean 
and high quality uh, juice as possible, which is actually really cool as well. Now, like I said, uh, that one was Play-Doh. That is basically a cinnamon toast crunch graham cracker taste. Uh, Socrates uh, is a blend of dragon fruit and smooth vanilla custard. Thales is a blueberry cheesecake and ice cream. Aristotle is basically a fruity cereal in milk. Confucius is a tropical it's a tropical drink type mix that's supposed to be crisp and clean and like you're sitting on a beach. And Hapatia is a strawberry with multiple creams. Now, because it is a Max VG line, most of the flavors that they went with are uh, the heavier flavors, dessert and cereal type, um, so that it maintains that flavor and it holds through. Um, if you try to do a lighter flavor liquid with a Max VG, it does get lost. At least that's my experience that, I, that I've come across with um, various flavors like that. Now, I'm a big custard fan and I've become, a, I've started to become a really strong cereal fan. Every single one of these flavors is dead on. Um, every flavor that I've tried, you definitely taste what you're supposed to out of it. If I was to say anything negative in the sense of a downside to this line, the only one, the only thing that I could honestly say is for Play-Doh, I'm not a huge cinnamon person. Um, I do like a hit of cinnamon. I like a hint of cinnamon flavor-wise in a, in, a, in a vape or just in food in general, um, but I'm not a huge uh, cinnamon person. Now, I have tried a few other lines um, that are supposed to have the, the cinnamon graham cracker taste or an apple crisp type thing, and I've gotten a bit more of an apple cider flavor. This honestly, uh, comes off as once I get over that first initial hit of cinnamon, it does mellow out for me into um, the cinnamon graham cracker cereal. Now, the next person who tries this may not get as huge hit of a cinnamon. They may like cinnamon, so it won't be as, as hard of a, of a flavor hit for them. That does not mean by any means am I saying that it's a bad flavor. And as I state in my other videos, you know, I, I try not to make it sound like my my opinion or my decision on how I react to these is by law. Um, it literally is just my opinion and my reaction to a specific line, a specific flavor, uh, my taste palettes. Um, I just try to be as honest about it as I can so that you can make your judgment on to whether or not it's something that you want to try. If you do and you like it, that's awesome. If you try it and you don't, you know, that's fine too. Not every juice company out there is going to have a flavor that every single vapor in the world is going to like. Um, now, for people out there that are not you know, into like the dessert flavors or cereal flavors, this may not be the line for you because that's primarily what makes up this line. However, it's still worth the try uh, just for how uh, flavor specific that they are. I mean, you're definitely, my favorite out of line, as many of you know that have seen my videos, um, would be Hypatia, would be my number one choice just because it is the strawberry with the custard. I like a strawberry custard, strawberry yogurt, strawberry cream, strawberry cheesecake flavor style. Um, but that does not mean that I'm automatically going to like every flavor that has strawberry in it. There are a few that I've come across that I was not a huge fan of. Um, Dreamery, you definitely hit it with Hypatia. That is a huge, huge hit with me. Um, I basically kind of blew through that bottle uh, almost instantly as soon as I tried it. Now, like I said, if you go to shipanddrip.com, they do offer the two sizes, a 30 mil and a 150 mil. These are 15s, so I believe this is what the Dreamery um, will send out for samples um, as it's not an openly available uh, size, which is fine because if you like Max VG lines, if you like strong flavors, if you like the dense clouds, if you like spot on flavor, a 30 mil of this may not last you as long as you think it will. Um, all of the other flavors, like I said, with the exception of Play-Doh being a little strong on the cinnamon side for me, which is why I, that's this one here. I saved it for the video because this one had the most in it because, as I just stated, I'm not a huge cinnamon fan, so I didn't go through it as fast as I did with the other ones. Which, again, I did save enough because I do want my, my boss at Pacific Vapes to try this. Um, all of the other ones uh, definitely 
have hit home as far as for flavor wise. Um, most of these others uh, definitely, uh, you know, hit the, your taste buds. Um, Confucius, it's it basically states that it's supposed to be more of like a cocktail or a tropical drink, like you're sitting on a beach. I definitely got, um, I for me, I tasted kind of like a peach mango pineapple mix, so it's more of a citrusy type, but not like the strong like a, a citrus uh, um, zest. You know, like if you're uh, scraping off the rind itself, it was very mellow, it was very crisp. The other thing that I like about this line is that for as heavy as the flavors are, usually when you come across custard, cereal, um, dessert type flavors like that, like the the juice gets, especially in the Max VG, it becomes thick on your cotton. It becomes, um, it caramelizes quicker than most uh, than most others will. Um, and a lot of that I believe has to do with what's uh, the type of flavoring and, and other uh, stuff that they do. But I believe with the Dreamery, since they don't add, as they state on their bottle, no artificial colors or sweeteners. I believe that is a big part of what takes out that that issue. These vape very clean for a Max VG line. Um, I did I did do a test with uh, my vape device as far as trying to do a couple of flavors. You know, obviously burning it out and then try the next one um, on the same cotton just to see if it gelled it up, gummed it up, how long. I still tasted the previous flavor, and honestly, they all vape clean. Um, I did try, as you can see on here, um, this is having, I mean, it is a little darker. It's not fresh. It is a little darker, um, but it does, it is not as dark as some of them have been after I've tried a flavor once. Um, it still vapes clean. It still vapes the flavor that I that I'm getting out at that moment on um, that particular bottle. Now, I do want to show you um, the clouds on this because they are most most impressive and enjoyable for me. Um, I've recently more so than um, than I have in the past. Recently, I've become bigger into the heavier clouds um i've been playing around with you know trying to do some of the tricks that you see like all of the big the big time names do i'm nowhere near that level but i do like to kind of play around a little bit it's fun um however this this line definitely gives you that opportunity so for the video i'm going to vape the play-doh which this is the cinnamon graham cracker crunch cereal and as you can definitely tell I mean, as it drips there, you can definitely see that it's a much thicker constitution because it is a Max VG line. Okay, so. And that is going to be on 60 watts, which is what I usually vape on. So Play Doh by the Dreamery, Max VG. Do you see that? Thick clouds. Now that's not to say that there aren't other lines out there that offer thick clouds as well, but these are definitely solid. They're dense. They're abundant. I mean, when they say Max VG, you definitely see it and you feel it in this line. You see how thick they get. You see how solid they get. That's that's really cool to me. Um, but again, definite cinnamon taste. Um, once that that initial hit on it uh, basically works its way into my tongue, it definitely smooths out into a more milkier type style. Now it's not a heavy cream or custard. It has a light creaminess to it, so it's supposed to emulate the milky part of it as like a bowl of cereal, which is which is great. And real fast, I just need to say, for the cotton that I use, it is Texas Tough from USA underscore Vape Mama. It is not another Pansy S cotton ball. It definitely holds juice well. It vapes clean. It doesn't give you that, that cotton taste, especially on the first hit on a fresh wick. Um, 
the just overall enjoyment of of vaping this line has just been really really in, enjoyable and cool for me um It's very comforting. Now, it may be because of the custard and the dessert flavors and everything else like that. One thing I know a lot of vapors that I that I deal with and that I talk to, one thing that they all enjoy, especially when they're looking for like an all-day vape option um, or something that they can vape on a, on a regular basis, is especially, you know, when you're taking that moment and that break to vape and you're just sitting, chilling, relaxing somewhere, when you vape on a juice that basically allows you that that comfort feel, to me that makes it that much more enjoyable. This line just as a whole has definitely um, emulated that feeling really well just with any of the flavors. When you Once you start vaping on it and you get into the, the clouds coming out and the flavor as it's, as it's filling your, your taste palette, you definitely get that that almost end of the day, you know, kick your feet up, relaxed feel um, of enjoyment, which definitely is is an added bonus to a vape. Um, that's and again, that's not to not that's not to to play down any other company that I've I've had the honor and privilege of doing reviews on. I just like I stated in the beginning, you know, I try to keep these as honest and true as I can and that's because one of who I am but two also because you know these people are making are making juices and stuff they're trying to run a business to support themselves but not just to make money they're also trying to put out a high quality product for vapors out there so that we have something solid we have something top shelf we have something that's affordable we have something that is going to make us enjoy vaping so that we are comfortable and and solid in in the option of having chose this to either quit smoking or to do this instead of smoking um, so you know I, I don't I don't want to overplay one company over another however I feel I would be doing injustice if I sat here through all of my videos for every company and literally said the same thing every single time in the same tone in the same way um, I am very impressed with this line um, and I've come across a lot of lines that have had flavors or a specific flavor that has hit me and I've just been like heels over head about it um, but I am thoroughly impressed with this entire line it is just overall it is just enjoyable and just for the sake of this video and I haven't done this for a little while um, I'm just gonna raise my wattage real quick just to see how much of a difference it will make I was on 60 I bumped it up 10 if you can see that real quick to 70 just to see how how much of a difference there is Definitely a bit warmer, still solid flavor. Um, clouds are definitely still just as dense. And the one thing that is cool about this that I'm a fan of, absolutely no throw kick whatsoever, not a one. This is all in a 3MG Nick level. Um, but because of the Max VG and because it is, you know, they do put the time and effort to make this uh, top uh, high quality product, no throw kick at all. So definitely, definitely, definitely happy and definitely impressed with um, this line from uh, the Dreamery. If you have not had a chance to try this line, if you've not heard of this line, definitely check them out on Facebook and Instagram. Email them. They have their email address. I believe it's the dreameryejuice at gmail.com. Um, definitely 
hit them up, you know, inquire about uh, samples, inquire about trying them, inquire about what shops carry them um, so you can go to that shop, especially if it's local, um, and be able to sample this line. Any flavor on here, unless you absolutely do not like dessert or cereal flavors, any flavor on here should hit a, a certain enjoyable spot for any vapor. Um, Solid Clouds Max VG, just a great overall enjoyable vape. Dreamery, thank you so much for the opportunity and the privilege for, for trying this line. I will definitely be having my boss try this. Um, until next time, guys, again, token vaping. Um, employed with Pacific Vapes, hit me up at my uh, tokenvaping gmail.com. You can subscribe to me or comment to me here on YouTube, my Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. Um, anything that you guys want to know that I can do to help better the vaping community, whether it's knowledge, whether it's sampling, whether it's um, showing you something on here as to what it looks like, what it feels like, how it vapes. Um, definitely hit me up, let me know. I will do everything I can to reach out to the various companies and see what I can find out for you. All I, all I like for this to be able to do is to help make vaping more enjoyable and more um, more knowledgeable to people out there that may just be starting or not know a whole lot about it. So if there's something that I can do to help better vaping for you, definitely I will be absolutely honored to do so. Dreamery, thank you very much for the opportunity and privilege. You have an amazing line right now. It's definitely worth trying for anybody out there that likes Max VG, good cloud, solid flavor, dessert, and cereal flavors. Till next time, guys, I'm Token Vaping. Have a good night.